Hello guys, welcome to Daily Entomologist. Uh, Labor Day weekend, so got three days to do some good collecting and uh, hopefully be uh, find some good stuff. Well, the first uh, area I'm collecting in is actually back up in the foothills. Um, this past week or so, the smoke's been pretty clear. Um, so it's been, I'm able to come back up here now without too much worry. Um, up at the canyon, going towards uh, Estes Park. Um, so far, this morning, I've, uh, Collected a catacola species, a underwing moth. Um, that was in the bathroom wall at the entrance. Um, let's see here, we got a little bee doing some pollinating. Got some massive pollen on the legs. I haven't seen much since um, the moth as in I haven't seen much I mean pretty much nothing uh, but it is still early yet so who knows what I'll hopefully find be really awesome if today I can get a pine white. I saw one last year, and that's been the only one I've seen. Luckily, we're in an area with a lot of conifers and pines, so hopefully, I'll be able to see one. I came across this little uh, creek right here, and there's actually a Quite a few things flying here. A lot of flies and wasps. Actually, that's pretty much all flies and wasps. Um, whether they actually sit down for me to get a picture or to film, it's usually 70 30. 70 of them not cooperating. I hope they can, you can at least see some stuff flying. Moving down there. Look at that one actually uh, landed in a spot where I can film it. That one looked like uh, looked like a Western paper wasp. Well, that took off before it would focus. Uh, yeah. I mean, nothing terribly exciting, but it's an insect. Alright, so just found a beautiful Katie did here. Um, I actually had a Katie Katie did on the car this morning that I found while I was filling up gas. But, uh, yeah. It's actually nice to have, uh, Specimen here that's not moving. I actually get it decent on camera. Really pretty. Well, 
that was a extremely strenuous hike for very little to show for it. Oh yeah, three vials. But I did get some decent butterflies. Uh, here's a underween I got from the bathroom here right when I got here. Uh, hair streak, some skippers. A nice uh, fritillary right there. So, kind of disappointed in the amount. Um, but I am happy with what I caught. And as uh, Master Qui Gon Jin says, a bad day out collecting is better than no collecting at all. So, hopefully, the rest of the weekend will go a little better. All right, well, it's Sunday and uh, decided to drive out to uh, Pawnee here. Uh, do some collecting. But the first place I went to, I wanted to collect, was a place on uh, a different section of the grasslands I haven't collected in before. Um, overrun by cows. And then I was on my way to the second location that I wanted to try at. Then I almost hit a couple cows. And then that place had cows as well. So I came back to my regular site I go to out here and um, mentioned a couple things. Um, not a whole lot. Some, uh, that's nice rubber flies. Um, had a couple of those. Some darkling beetles for collected for someone else. Um, another uh, another rabbit fly right here. Um, a couple tiger beetles as well. Um, but that's pretty much it. Been here for a few hours now. The wind is absolutely atrocious. Like really difficult to swing the net. Atrocious. Um, so, apologize for the lack of in the field videos for this area. Um, all in all, it's uh, been a really crappy week weekend out collecting. Definitely the worst weekend of the season so far. But, it is September and it is nearing the end of the season. So, not much I can do about that. But, uh, I have... Tomorrow is uh, Monday, but we have it off, so probably, well, I'm going to try and get out and hopefully make up for the lack of stuff I collected this weekend. Uh, maybe go collect in the neighborhood this afternoon, try and film, hopefully the wind dies down. Um, I was going to do some black lighting last night, but the uh, wildfire smoke came back with a vengeance, and uh actually uh ash got dumped all over the place and i wasn't gonna go out and collecting while ash was falling on me so i decided to stay home um so as you see i added my black light stuff already but that ended up not happening um so who knows i'll figure it out but uh right now i just want to go home and play Battlefront 2 or Jedi Fallen Order. So, uh, hopefully I have some better luck later. All right, so I'm on my way back home, but I figured I've been talking about the uh, smoke from the wildfire for a couple of videos now. And I uh, figured I'd actually show you guys since I'm pretty visible today. Uh, so you see you have the blue sky up there, then that hazy color right there is the smoke from the wildfire. It just keeps going. And uh, the origin of the wildfire is actually up there. And uh, you can actually see the thick clouds up there. 
That's actually all smoke from the wildfire that uh, grown straight up. Um, that's from like where the wildfire is. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of smoke coming up from the fire up there. Uh, the fire itself is now uh, close to 25,000 acres in size. So it's a pretty nice size wildfire. But uh, I figured I'd just take this little opportunity to actually show you the amount of smoke that uh, we've been dealing with here. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty wicked. All right, so it is Monday. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna stick around, not gonna drive anywhere, just stick around the neighborhood, do stuff in the yard and uh, down in the park and stuff. Um, but I'm gonna at least show you some insects. Right here, we have a mating pair of Phymata, uh, ambush bugs. As you see, they blend in pretty good with the rabbit bug, rabbit brush, rabbit bush. Those are always cool to come across. Here's just a small moth of some sort. Not sure what that is. But uh, I'm gonna be checking uh, this stuff and all that stuff on all that. Uh, pretty orange uh, clouds this morning. Um, that's the smoke. Um, I'm hoping to find some praying mantis. Um, I saw some the other day when I was out here. Here's a interesting moth right here. Really nice pattern on that. Uh, not to it. And yeah, so I'm gonna keep on checking the rabbit, rabbit bush and see what else uh, I can come across. Well, as you see there, we have a blister beetle, uh, Epicotta. Um, this is Looks like uh, Epicotta pennsylvanicus. Just a super common black blister beetle. Um, but they are a really, really awesome genus and pretty, uh, pretty interesting. This year's been a pretty good year for me collecting Epicotta. Been able to get some good specimens and some good species. Well, here's some more Phymata. As you can see, uh, these ones actually have some food. You can see the darker one on the left there uh, enjoying a uh, moth as its meal. So as you can see, they're small, but they sure are mighty. I mean, that moth is quite a bit bigger than it. Just uh, one of the wonders of the insect world. Oh, this is pretty sweet. Uh, this species is always awesome to see. This is a buckeye butterfly. And it's in really excellent condition too. Really beautiful species. The eye spots are amazing. 
Um, it's a generally a pretty fast flying uh, species, kind of difficult to catch. But uh, it's cool right now. And this one literally just landed right in front of me while I was walking. So, uh, really beautiful. And of course I didn't bring my envelopes with me, I just brought some vials. So I have nothing to put it in. Oh. Awesome. Well guys, I think it's gonna be the end of this video. Um, the sky is literally orange. It's so dreary out right now. And as you can see, um, we got ash falling. So I'm not gonna be getting out for the rest of the day probably. Um, I don't want to be out in this stuff. So, hope you liked this video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.